Alright, good day everyone. Nandito naman po tayo sa ating Sergio's Math Class. So, we have here our topic. So, addition and subtraction of polynomial. So, we have here five problems uh, we're going to solve today. So, we have here add xy plus 3mn minus 6ab and 4xy minus 3mn plus 9ab. And second, add 4ab minus 5b squared plus 8ac and b squared plus ac minus 4a squared. And number three, from the sum of 9a, 9a minus 6c and 5a plus 9c, subtract 3a minus c. Number four, to the difference obtained when 2ab minus 2xy is subtracted from 5a plus 7xy add 7ab minus 6xy. And to the sum of 4cd minus 5xy plus 6ab and 3cd plus 2xy minus 8ab add the difference obtained when 2cd plus 3xy plus 4ab is subtracted from 5cd minus xy minus 3ab. So take note, we have here the rules for addition and subtractions. The first one is only similar terms may be combined by addition or subtraction. Similar are terms whose literal parts are identical. Number two, when adding expression whose signs are alike, add their absolute values and perfects the common sign. And number three, when adding two expression whose signs are alike, unlike, subtract the similar absolute value from the larger absolute value and perfects to answer the sign of the expression whose absolute value is larger. And number four, in subtraction problem, change the sign of all terms in the subtrahend and problem thus becomes one addition and proceed with addition, observing the above rules. So we have laws of addition, we have commutative and associative law of addition. So let's take a look with question number one. So we have number one, problem number one, add xy plus 3mn minus 6ab and 4xy minus 3mn plus 9ab. So in this time, you are going to align uh, the same variables, of having the same variables. So you are going to combine a first align and combine the same variables and you're going to add. In this case, we have here xy plus 3mn minus 6ab and we have plus 4xy minus 3mn plus 9ab. So, dapat po naka-align ang parehas ng variable. Okay, so we are going to add we have 5xy and this would become 0. So therefore, this is minus 9 and uh, by the way, this is 9ab. So 9ab, that is equal to 3 plus 3ab. So therefore, the final answer is 5xy plus 3ab. So, this is the problem number one. Okay, so we are now in problem number two. So, in number two, add 4ab minus 5b squared plus 8ac and b squared plus ac minus 4a squared. So, we are going to add an align. So, 4ab minus 5b squared plus 8ac. So, if we are going to add just a line, so this is b squared, so we are going to put here, and plus ac, and since minus 4a squared, so no alignment here in the first equation because this is a squared. So add, so 4ab minus 4b squared plus 9ac minus 4a squared. So, easy ra? Okay. 
Okay, so we are now in number 3. From the sum of 9a minus 6c and 5a plus 9c, subtract 3a minus c. So first, we have to add first this two equation or two, two term or these two problem here. So the sum of 9a minus 6c and 5a plus 9c. So this polynomial, monom uh, binomial and binomial. So add first 9a minus 6c plus another polynomial, so 5a plus 9c. So add this part, we have 14a plus 3c. So this is the result of the sum of the uh, 9a minus 6c and 5a plus 9c. So next, subtract 3a minus c. So 14a plus 3c, we are going to subtract 3a minus c. So since this is changing the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition, we are going to change this one. This is plus, right? And becomes negative. And this positive becomes pos negative to positive and change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So now, we come up with, so this is negative now, this is 11a. And this will become plus 4c. So this is the final answer. So from the sum of 9a minus 6c, the uh, polynomial plus the polynomial, subtract 3a minus c. So 11a plus 4c. For number 4, to the difference obtained when 2ab minus 2x is subtracted from 5ab plus 7xy, add 7ab minus 6xy. So first, we have to get the difference obtained of this part. So subtracted from, so therefore, we would have 5ab plus 7xy. Since subtracted from, so minus 2ab minus 2xy. So, so this is the sign. So we have to change the sign of the subtrend. Then proceed to addition. If this is plus, minus, and this is plus, plus, minus, plus, and proceed to addition. So therefore, this is 3ab plus 9xy. So this is the result of the difference obtained when 2ab minus 2xy is subtracted from 5a plus 7xy. The next is add 37ab minus 6xy. So 3ab, the result of this one, xy plus 7ab minus 6xy. So you are going to add 10ab, then plus 3xy. So this is the final result of the problem number four. So we are now in problem number five. To the sum of four CD minus five XY plus six AB and three CD plus two XY minus eight AB. Add the difference obtained when two CD plus three XY plus four AB is subtracted from 5cd minus xy minus 3b, 3ab. So first thing that we're going to do is to get the sum of this part. So this is the polynomial 1 and the polynomial 2. So we have here 4cd minus 5xy plus 6ab. So added 3cd plus 2xy minus 8ab. So you're going to add, so 7cd minus 3xy minus 2ab. So this is the result of the sum of the two polynomials. Next is add the difference obtained when 2cd and this part is subtracted to this polynomial. Since we need to get first the difference between 5cd minus xy minus 3ab 
So we are going to get the difference. So this is 2CD plus 3XY plus 4AB. So in this case, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. If this is plus, becomes negative. If this plus becomes negative, and plus becomes negative, and proceed to addition. So 5CD plus negative 2CD, the result of this one is 3CD. And negative XY plus negative 3XY, the result is negative 4XY. And negative 3AB plus negative 4AB, the result is 7AB. So the question is, we are going to add the difference of this, this one and the, sum, the result of the sum. So add. So 7CD minus 3XY minus 2AB. So we're going to add the result of this the result of the sum and the result of the difference. So we have here 10CD uh, 3CD minus 4XY minus 7AB. So you're going to add 3CD plus 7CD. We have 10CD minus 7XY minus 9AB. So this is now the final answer of number 5. Okay, so at the end of the session, we still have tried this. So subtract the sum of x cubed plus 17x squared plus 36x minus 15 and 3x squared minus 13x plus 33 from the sum of negative 2x cubed minus 8x squared plus 79x plus 8 and 5x cubed minus 73x squared plus 99x plus 6. So, so to our searches math class viewers, so please answer this one and you can provide your solution as well to check your answer. Thank you and God bless everyone.